Jamaica will work on creating scope to boost spending on education, infrastructure, and poverty reduction. In this video, we will show you everything related to the Southern Coastal Highway project. But before we start, don't forget to share the video and subscribe to the channel. You can buy super thanks to support top mega projects directly. The Jamaica is anticipating that substantial works will be completed by March 2023. On the first two tranches of the Southern Coastal Highway Improvement Program, totaling approximately $11.5 billion, the government's flagship road project, the SCHIP, is being executed in three parts, Part A, May Penn to Williamsfield, 28 km, Part B, Harbor View to Yalas Bridge, 17.4 km, and Part B, Yalas Bridge to Port Antonio and Morant Bay to Cedar Valley, 123.65 km. Minister without portfolio in the Ministry of Economic Growth and Job Creation, Han, that the five distinct projects, which make up Tranche 1, are between 65% to 75% completed at a cost of approximately $5.4 billion. The projects are Morant River Bridge to Prospect, totaling $1 billion, which is 60% complete, Hordley to Long Road, $551 million, 70% complete, Manchineal to Fair Prospect, $1 billion, 70% complete, Morant Bay to Georgia, $1.1 billion, 61% complete, and Georgia to Cedar Valley, $1.5 billion, 63% complete. Tranche 2 projects, totaling $6.1 billion are Yala's Bridge to Loudon Hill, at a cost of $1.3 billion, which is 22% complete, Loudon Hill to Pomfret, $869 million, 21% complete, Pomfret to Morant River Bridge, $1.9 billion, 16% complete, Boston area to Drapers, $1.1 billion, 26% complete, and Drapers to Port Antonio, $1.3 billion, 11% complete. Jamaica now have 10 of the 15 packages underway between St. Thomas and Portland. Jamaica are well underway to making the eastern side of Jamaica the newest side of Jamaica, buttressed by other seminal investments for growth and prosperity. He said, the third tranche is expected to be substantially completed by the end of 2023. Tranche 3 has not yet commenced. It is the government's intention to have the road sections that comprise Tranche 3 commencing this fiscal year, he told the House. Tranche 3 works include Prospect to Arcadia District. 9.05 km, Arcadia District to Amity Hall, 7.40 km, Amity Hall to Hordley, 6.98 km, and Fair Prospect to Boston Area, 6.86 km. Minister Warmington asked for the public's patience as the work continues, noting that we endeavor to keep such impact to a minimum. The National Works Agency will continue to execute its mandate to plan, build and maintain a safe, reliable, and quality main road network and flood control systems. The agency's primary focus will be on improving the condition of the main road network, which was damaged by recent flood rains, and improving the safety, mobility, and travel experience of road users. Investments in the maintenance of the nation's secondary road network will continue to be focused on pavement repair, cleaning and repair of drains and channels, to bushing, among other routine activities that the NWAS top three priorities for fiscal year 2022 over 23 will be continuation of the SCHIP, commencement of the Special Capital Expenditure Program, and continued maintenance of secondary roads. In your opinion, Jamaica will create space for increased spending on education, infrastructure and poverty reduction. Is there information that we did not mention? Write it in the comments. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to share the video and subscribe to the channel.